Hello. Abby putting a feather in her hair. But anyway, it's uh, unboxing time. Yes, I'm doing an unboxing of this uh, trumpeter kit, another trumpeter kit, uh, Soviet KV-122 heavy tank. And it's a body and build. It's, yep, it is a body build. I'm doing it with uh, Greg. Greg. Greg Riley, Seth and Greg, we both got the same kit for Christmas, so we're both going to build it together. And uh, this is the unboxing part for my one. Okay, so let's get onto the bench and we'll have a look at this uh, fabulous kit from Trumpeter. And here we are. And here we are. <laughs> right, there's the tank. Uh, it's I have quite a say in that now. You do. This is quite a large box, so. Um, there's probably try, a lot try of Try and get it all in. It's a uh, Trumpeter, 135th scale when that zooms in properly, there you go. Trumper 135th scale. It's a Soviet KV-122 heavy tank. Okay. Um, box art is uh, shows a picture of the tank with a little uh, gas jeep and uh, a couple of um, Russians there all uh, getting ready to have a look at it. Um, this is one of those concept tanks that they built uh, to see, you know, are they going to go down this line, a, I don't know, a prototype? Uh, they used parts of that in their next one. They didn't actually produce this one, but uh, I'm going to produce it anyway. So, what do we get? Um, yeah, on the side picture here, it shows us that we've got some PE. We've got a little metal barrel. We've got a metal barrel for it, yep. Um, it says a little bit of a right up here. It says the KV-13 program, KV-85 prototype, was accepted for introduction as the IS-1 heavy tank after testing both the 100mm and 122mm gun. The D-25T 122mm gun was selected as the main armament for the new tank, uh, primarily because of its Red, the ready availability and effect, and effect of the of large high explosive, explosive shell when attacking German fortifications. The KV 122 replaced the KV 85 and began mass production at the IS 2. As the IS 2. So it went on to become the IS 2. Okay. So and if it starts to go blurry, I'm just gonna go like that. On the other side, then it just gives us another picture of the tank. So that's 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 it for the box and the box art. I like the frog because it's like in the woods and I love yeah. flowers. So let's see what we get. We'll take the top. Oh the no, that oh no, it's a little So we've got loads and loads of plastic. Yes. Oh right, no, we've got no, some no, PE here. Individual tracks. We've got individual <laughs> tracks in a little bag there. I do never ever want to do it. Right, we've got yeah. some decals, yeah. decals, oh. transfers, and stickers. stickers. Right, we've got one, two, three, four more tracks. Oh, Five good. bags of sprues, two and bags two of bags tracks. Of tracks. And we've got more stuff in here. We've got uh, our turret. Turret, very nice. We've got our lower hull and oh, our metal barrel. Very nice. Ooh. And we've got another two sprues then. For something. For something else, right? Then we get the usual paperwork and stuff like that. Which we oh, nice box. So we go through all the paperwork first, okay? I love this box. We get. Yep. Yeah, we get a nice. Uh, color call out drawing painting marking guide uh, one sided so there's only the one version to do and it's uh, a quite a dull plain green color so we'll have to do so a bit of uh, color modulation <laughs> you know, yeah well John's very like like yeah. no I'll do the black and white technique underneath it which is sort of appreciating so therefore when the green goes down it's not all just a one flat ugly looking green okay so that's the uh, color and painting and marking guide and here we have here we have the instructions yeah you can put that back into the box right i'll put it everything into the box in your and the box right. putter we start off we get a nice Lady sprue map lady shows us all our parts. So you know if you're missing anything. Yeah, and then we start off with our construction. Okay, we're building up the uh, the tub, oh, the yeah. tops. Uh, 
suspension, wheels, and our tracks. All right, we've got our tracks on and everything else like that. Then we start building up the uh, the side panels and side skirts. Um, we're on to our turret. And then we're putting everything together. So it doesn't seem to be that uh, complicated with no. the build. It seems to be quite straightforward. Well, Excuse me. Is. So let's start having a look at the uh, at the parts. So we've got our first our first piece. Oh, as you can see from that, it's just two little curvy pieces. They look like boats. Maybe they're lifeboats. <laughs> lifeboats. Lifeboats in a tank. They, they could be a lifeboat or something. No, no, no. In case like it fell into the water or something. Okay, that's that's what Abby thinks they are. So it's lifeboats. Yeah, One lifeboat because it looks like they would clip together. Right. We have another small bag here then with uh, the styrene plastic gun. I'm going to put the small Okay, we do have a, a metal barrel with it. Oh, this is the arrow. So, and we probably have to, because it's a straight piece of barrel, we probably have to do a bit of uh, cutting from these pieces and fitting them all together. Yeah. But there's the there's the plastic barrel, quite nicely moulded. It's a two-piece barrel with a nice mantlet as well. Nicely moulded. Okay. Very nicely moulded, no flash and uh, Oh yeah, no flash. That's no what flash. That's that what we're looking for. for we're looking for no flash. No flash in that one. <coughs> Can I do an unboxing? Yeah. Here, okay? Can I do an unboxing? I do to look what I do is I look for flash. flash. I look for uh, what the what's the quality of the moulding and um, you know, what's the condition of the pieces? What's the plastic like? Is it nice to work with? Is it is it is it pure thin or is it is it good quality? Okay. I think so now here we have does, our little turret, flexible. nicely protected with a bit of uh, spongy stuff. Spongy stuff, yeah. And we got our turret, which fits Blood together absolutely stuff. beautiful. Really and does. Stuff. Small bit of flash here at the side, but I'm sure a little no, bit of a rub, a little bit of a rub of a sandpaper, and that will get that now out. So there's our turret, two pieces. Don't together quite nicely. Nice fit. So it's a nice fishy little turret we could say. Okay, I so there's our turret, a nice size turret. Okay. Put so that back in and I'll just pop that back in the box for you there, Daddy. Now, now we're on to the, uh, on to the big the big sprues. The big sprues are here. Okay. Yeah. In this bag here, we've got two spoons. Let's take all the plastic. So that's here. a lot of stuff. Right, we've got oh, polycaps. We got our, no, no, they're just polycaps will be made of plastic. They're wheel cover, oh. wheel hub, hub covers, hub caps. Right, we've got two identical sprues. Two okay. identicals, so we can put one in there. Right, so here we've got our fuel drums, external fuel drums. We've got um, our suspension parts, some wheels. They look like the ends of the uh, fuel drums. Um, We've got our stop. drive sprockets. Drive sprockets. Little return rollers and things. Okay, and some more, a few suspension parts. Hey, condition, my horse shoes. Condition wise. Oh, good. Condition wise, they're quite nice. Quite nicely detailed. We don't have any flash. We don't have any uh, oh, yeah, I'll excess I'll seam lines or anything. Not I'm that I can see. Gonna check for flash on this one. Everything is quite nice. So no flash on the other items. We've got our wheels no in this bag. Right, um, we've got uh, one, two, three sprues. Oh, three sprues. Three sprues of wheels, and there's yeah, eight pieces on each sprue. So the moulding in them, the moulding in them is absolutely lovely. Look at that. What's three eighths again? Three eighths is twenty-four. So there's twenty-four parts altogether. Yeah, they're very very nice. Moulding on both sides, very nicely detailed indeed. Okay, so we've got some uh, some nicely moulded wheels. So, uh, so are you liking the kit so far? Yep. 
seems to be okay dokily so far. Right, we've got the sides of the tub. Okay, it comes with a tub thing and then you put these onto the side of it. So there's no flesh, happy? No flesh. I don't worry about flesh too much. Flash can be seen. You yeah, mean it's, it's ejector pin marks. See all the ejector pin marks and oh. they're on the back. But they're on the back, so I don't worry about them. There's nothing on the front. There's no sinkholes or anything like that. I think that's so pretty cool. The detail on that, as you can see, lads, is quite nice indeed. Is that Very nice. Pin marks? No, no, no. They're just they're just holes for bit putting in different bits and pieces, aren't they? Okay. So we have another, Makes more sense. another sprue here. Oh. Right, and what have we got here? We've got. Is that the. I'd say that's the front piece with our two hatches for the driver yeah, and I the uh, so. passenger. Machine gun coat <laughs> thing. Nice front cover there. A roundy piece, I was gonna say bendy piece. <laughs> bendy piece. But some, <laughs> some beautiful moulding on it. Some nice uh, some nice work indeed. And that here. It's got a kind of a sort of the engine covers I'd say because they're quite little bits of mesh. Mm, and it, it, as you can oh, see yeah. it's printed onto it, even though it gives you some uh, PE parts, it's not all PE, so it's not too bad. Um we don't have any eject pin marks. We don't have any flash, That's but we so do have some, we do have some lovely, lovely molded pieces here. Let me let to zoom in there. Oh okay. yeah, that does very, look very detailed. They actually took time into that and did just wash into it. Yeah. It's very okay. nice mold. Very nicely molded. I no flash. Some nice detail and lovely. Look at those rivets. We have a no nice close no look at those rivets there. Then let to zoom in perfectly onto them. Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. Some nice rivets detail there that'll pick up a nice uh, wash and dry brushing. So that's another another sprue out of the way. And the last of our big bags. And then just track links. Yeah, we've got track links, we've got the tub, we've got the barrel to do, and a few more other bits and pieces. So we're not, we're not done yet. Not done yet. I'm sorry. Okay. Alright. Not done yet. We've got our top there with the hole for the turret. That we've is got a lot of stuff on one piece. Engine deck. <gasps> we've got our. Um, our side fenders or so things good. here we've got some uh, storage boxes that appear to be there's some spongy pieces and we've got a piece here protected under the sponge so we'll get our little scissors out and see what is hidden under me what surprise is waiting for us why is oh now i see why see why they're protected because they're very, very fine, very, very fine indeed. So you Careful. Can, they have to be nice, carefully removed from the sprue so they don't break. We'll have right. to glue them. But they're nice. They're nicely done. Nicely moulded. Oh, now I'm getting well, shivers in case you break them. <laughs> I won't break them. Sweetly. I always get shivers. Right, we've got some lovely detail here. On, uh, appear to be some hatch covers Ooh. and things. Some lovely interior and exterior detail on those. Um. Commander's copula type thing here, and it all looks we'll quite nice, quite nice else. indeed. Okay, we've got an engine cover here at the back, so it's that's quite nice. I know, I had a for that, sweetheart. Okay, because it was just here, and I was like, Yeah, right. now we've got our tub. There's a metal power thing in there as well. Yeah, that's the metal gun bar. Is that real metal or is it plastic metal? No, it's real metal. Oh no. Oh, no. It's made from a, a bit of aluminium. An aluminium turned barrel. That's okay. impressive. Yeah. Okay. So it's not just all plastic. 
Uh -oh. I think you're going to Here's our aluminium turned barrel. It's quite nice. It's got the uh, nice bit of widening at the end. doesn't have a muzzle brake, but I presume we probably have to take the muzzle brake off the, uh, the styrene one and stick it onto the end of that. They really don't give you a nice you know, brass muzzle brake or something, but they don't anyway. So there's the, our. Uh, That's some clear barrel. parts. Which I did not think there was. We've got a couple of small clear parts there. We've got, uh, I'd say they're light lenses. Yeah. Two, three little, two little light lenses. Yeah. So we put yeah. them back in, keep them nice and safe. The not and we've got our tub. Ooh, so nice and big. Bath, and bath tub style hob. Soft. No, mm. no, it's quite nice. Um, it's nice and smooth. It's not like lumpy. Okay, we've got a little bit of detail on the bottom, not too much. Okay. And if you're um, blind, maybe that will. <laughs> you could read it if like Braille. <laughs> yeah. Right, so there's our. If uh, you're actually meant to them. <laughs> bathtub hull. Okay. Bathtub, yay. Yeah. And finally, then bag. we've got two bags. Um, the they're identical bags. There's. Let's see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six sprues in each bag. Okay. You'll open one six, and have a yeah, look. Six. There's six in this one anyway. Yeah. You'll open them up and have a look. Okay. So. I'm going to open this one as well. No, no. We just open one of them and keep them all together. Okay, so let's put these one back there. Right, we've got our tracks. Now, our tracks, uh, they seem to be two different p types in there because we've got some with a. A guide horn and some without a guide horn okay this side of guide horns this side don't so it's say one of these to one of these and then alternate every second but one. it's probably in the instructions we get worry. exactly we get our details in the instructions okay so let's have a look at the molding and those it's fabulous as you can see they're quite nice and they're That's quite nicely detailed there as well loads of little clean up points on them so this is one, two, three, four, five, six clean up points in each one. Oh God. But what's clean oh, up points? These are the ones on the end. It's where the, uh, here, it's where the sprue joins the piece itself. So you, you uh. snip that there, right, with your, with your um, cut snippers. But you end up with a tiny little piece then that you've got to kind of clean off. Because if you don't clean them off properly, they won't go together properly. Yeah. So you've got to be very, very careful in cleaning them off. And making sure that everything fits nicely. So, and if it doesn't, just check again. There's all our parts. I put That's that in. I'm just going to put them back into this little bag just to keep them all together. Sweetheart. And make sure number and if any break off, they won't be lost. Yeah, exactly. So put them all Keep them all organised. And finally, we've got our photo etch and decals. Photo etch and decals. So let's but have a look at the. Uh, no, it's a bit of a. Uh, Trim. Yeah, a bit of brass wound uh, wire, which, which would be used for uh, the tow rope. Oh! And if it it looks a bit pink, but it's actually blue. Right, so we've got yeah. our yeah, bit of, that. we've got our photo etch. Not too much this time compared to the last trumpet or kit I did. Oh, yeah, we, we yeah, have one, two, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight pieces of PE to put on, so it's not too bad. And it doesn't appear to be any bending, so it's just sort of straight, fit straight on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so there's our PE. Can we just put that onto that card to stop it from getting damaged? That feels not like string. That does not feel like string. No, because it's, it's metal. It's a bit of metal wire. It's metal string. Okay, no. Say. Let's we get let to zoom in on that if we can. We'll keep your hand up, sweetheart. Okay, Alright. Now there we go. Oh there we go. So that'll work out that lovely, lovely, absolutely lovely. Actually. And it's quite flexible, so it um it's not too stiff. I like how that looks. So that looks is a perfect nice. bit of um tow rope or tow 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 cable. Metal tow cable. And that Feel is uh, another nice piece there. So we'll be uh, we'll be utilising that most definitely. 
Okay, no need, no, no need to make, no need to make my own when I, there's one already made for you. And finally, last but not by no means least, the decals, decals, transfers, decals, stickers. Decals. Okay, so. Oh my God, it's in a half bag. No, there we go. It's half bag, half not. There we go. Oh. So we've got our decals now. If I can get the. Is this Russian? Yeah, it's a Russian one. Soviet, which is Russian. Soviet, which means Russian, exactly, yeah. Now, as you see, we've got some numbers. Number, 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 number. We've got two, um... Cross thing -bajigs. With the star and the flag. Okay. And that's, that's it. We've got numbers and... Flags. The flaggy things. <laughs> numbers and okay. flags. So there are decals. They seem to be quite... Very very thin, quite nice. Uh, so it's a case of let's see how they work out, let's see how it all fits together. So next thing for this is just is the uh, making of it. As I said, I'm. Yeah. As I said, and then there's a the kitchen. As I said, I'm doing this as a body build with uh, a good friend Greg, Greg Riley. Uh, we both got it for Christmas. Just as a coincidence, it wasn't it wasn't anything planned. But when we saw that we both had the same one. He said we do a body build on it. So if anybody else out there has that kit, what, why not build it along with us? Okay, and uh, oh, let us know. Let us know. And uh, don't forget, get across to Greg Riley's channel, and he also will be doing a uh, build on this. He probably the whole lot. He'll probably do an unboxing as well. Okay, so that's it for this. No, no, I tied it all away because I, I, I was. Uh, I definitely have to tidy up under my bench. It's it, it's quite messy. So that's okay. it. That's it, lads, for the uh, Soviet KV one two two heavy tank from Trumpeter. And uh, stay tuned. And stay tuned to the channel, should I say? And uh, keep up with any updates that I have on this. So, without further ado, I will say good luck. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your building. Have a nice week. Go out, buy yourself a kit, build it and enjoy it. it. Build it and enjoy give it the old thumbs up. And anything you want to say to us, stick it in the comments box below and we'll get back to you on that. So until the next one, stay safe, enjoy your modelling and have a nice week.